a lot of people ask us what arthroscopy is. So I figured I would explain that this is a minimally invasive technique first done about almost 50 years ago by Watanabe from Japan in the knee, where the camera is at the end here and they actually would look inside and I can see right now, magnify it. But in later years, we would now attach it to a camera. It is, so this is a fiber optic instrument. Okay, with a camera, and this is then projected on a monitor. So there's our operating room, and uh, our, our, our monitor looks much like this. And then allows me to illuminate the joint with the light source. So this is connected. This lights up, it looks pretty cool. It looks like a disco in the uh, operating room, and, and this is lit up. And then the inside of the joint is illuminated. Now this is a small arthroscope. This is what I use for the wrist. This is a 2.7 millimeter. 30 degree it means that when I look inside or when the camera looks and projects it, it's not looking directly, but it's looking at a 30 degree angle. If I want to look this way, I just rotate the light source and now you can see the inclination of the camera is looking that way. So this way I can look all through the joint with two little holes. What's the second hole for? To do the actual surgery. One hole is for the visualization with the arthroscope. The other we use to, to, to uh, clean up tissue, debris, remove loose bodies, uh, but more typically we use a motorized instrument and then we also use radio frequency, which is a technology that takes the collagen and, and, and um, uh, basically creates a tightening of the tissue. So there's a number of different things, but we can do all of these surgeries, in my case, whether it be the base of the thumb, the knuckles, the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder, all with two or three little holes. That's arthroscopy.